Hi, how's it going? Living in Boulder, vlog September 4th. I missed September 3rd because I was working too hard. Um, I went into a, a part of work that uh, makes me, um, like, obsessed. Uh, so I didn't have the time. It, it, I kind of get into that. Decide doing stuff that I never thought that I would do. And so, and then I do it and I'm like, oh wow, like, is this worth it, you know? So what I'm doing now is um, I decided to include all of, like, the nuclear bomb. Uh, Hiroshima nuclear bomb, <clears throat> fireball, and then, uh, and then like 20,000 foot mushroom cloud 20 minutes later, and then the final height up at 60,000. So I want to do one in between also, another mushroom cloud, I think, of Hiroshima. And, uh, and then I did uh, the Tsar bomb, mushroom cloud, fireball, um, and then destruction zones of that. I didn't do destructions, all the destruction zones of Hiroshima yet, but I want to, um, I want to do um, nuclear testing. So uh, maybe just make a small rudimentary um, like bomb and nuclear testing. And then say which one um, is, uh, um, you know, does the damage to certain buildings because there's some that are 5,000 feet away that got blasted and one that's 6,000 feet away didn't. So just not like all of the ones I know and then the people, pictures of people so you can then connect the images and the video to the Google Earth. So that would be cool. Um, so you feel like you're actually there um, and you know the effect. And uh, like the bomb that that you have a video of is from a tower. So you would just say that it happened before they made the pyramid because I think it was below 420 feet or however high the pyramid is, 440 feet. So, um, yeah, um, so I'm gonna do that, but then I decided that I'm also going to um, do time trials, like put actual, put the images of people of all the people, of all the different distances of the time trials um, so to, to aid in the visualization of the size and what it looks like there, so, and make the videos interesting. So, um, I did, uh, I'm doing the one kilometer, which has like 250 people, 20 kilometer, and that's just for conglomeration, 20 kilometer local time trial, 500 people, and then, I'm doing the uh, half Iron Man from 2014, all the people, 1,450 people. And then I think I'm gonna do the Iron Man from 2014, the first one that has like 2,250 people. And then, uh, yeah, 40 kilometer. I think I'll choose like a, the fastest race I can find that I have one. And then, um, yeah, cause I don't wanna include everybody. That'd be too time consuming. I will do all of the um, the uh, triathlon ones though, even though it's in the thousands of people because it's just one race, so. Um, <clears throat> and I, I also created the route on my map. So the half Ironman, I did the swim, which conveniently goes just one side of the island to the other and then the Bike section, which conveniently goes from the island to the outer ring, and then around the outer ring, and then back in, almost to the middle, and then the run conveniently comes back in around two rings, different ones, and then back almost to where it starts. So that's the half Ironman out of Atlantis. Um, and uh, but I think I'm I'm not going to actually ride in like the runners and the swimmers, just just the cyclists. But I I think I will do the swimmers for the 750 meter swim, because I think I did that. I, I recorded that. So, from 2014, when I collected all this stuff, it was like 2013 when I first started doing it, uh, when I first came here. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I already finished the distances from the 520K people. Um, 
and I did maybe a chunk of the 250 people from the K. And then I started on like top 10, 15th or whatever, 10th or 12th for the uh, 90K, which is going by pretty quickly because they already had registered how fast they go. If I know how fast they go, I, I just do a, I just get their speed. I, I tell my Siri on my phone to convert the miles per hour because that's what it's written on my website because I already made the list. And I had all the all the details for it too, which looks really good on, on Google Earth because I can include that in the, uh, even in like the label if I want it. But um, yeah, I just say, hey, I say, uh, I hold down the button so I don't even have to say, hey, sir, I hold down the button on my phone, I say, because I'm listening to stuff on my computer. Uh, 26.2 miles and kilometers and then it says it and then I go, 43 kilometers, I mean, 43 times 2.05. And that says how many meters they've been when the first guy gets there. So I just type in that many meters, but that's how long it is. And then you make them go back that way. It goes really fast. So this is going to take a while though. You know, I said, I gave myself a week until the Sunday. That's before I, I decided I do all these time trials. It's crazy time consuming. So I just add it. You have to add at least a week to it on that. So next week before I even think about being done. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm, I just got, uh, I canceled a bunch of stuff to save money, cancel everything, but then I got uh, Netflix. So I'm, I'm watching a, like a World War II in color on Netflix. And I want to watch the good parts again too. I want to study definitely the all angles of the Hiroshima bomb. So I know what the, the cloud looked like, but, um, you can download it now, actually see how far I've come along on my website, like the download of, uh, Atlantis. And I think I'll upload what I've done today when I'm done. Um, so, uh, which is just the time trials. Oh yeah, you wouldn't see anything though. I didn't make the people yet. I only made the distance because I have to go back and then draw on the people. Um, so, um, that's enough. Talk to you tomorrow.